and Mike. Ooh. Is Mike on there? Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, folks, it's a disaster, but we're going to purge through it. Uh, you can you can elongate Mike if you want. Uh, folks, uh. it's Saturday night. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. Uh, for a one shot. Uh, we did have a, a fantastic cast, and uh, we had some issues with that, and now we've got Blake. So, and me. You know, uh, <laughs> well, we knew Ernie who, was going to be here. Who isn't, home, who isn't home right now? So, <laughs> uh, Blake is here. Uh, roll, roll, roll. Quick, quick, have me roll a D20. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, thanks again for joining us. Uh, we're the, Fuck what we were going to do. We aren't doing that at all. We're putting these sons of bitches in Cathaway. So screw it. We're we're on the mend here. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, take a look at our YouTube channel if you want to buy cool shit like this. Uh, the link is in there somewhere. Uh, welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. Uh, we're going to start with some introductions. I know Ernie's up there. So Ernest, uh, who are you and who are you playing tonight? Uh, so my name is Ernest, and tonight I'm playing uh, Keith, the emo forest elf, um, who happens to also be an Eldridge knight. So we'll see how this goes, because uh, I think we're going to a circus, maybe? Uh, I don't know how this emo gnome will take I back. believe that's where he was drawing the random encounters from. <laughs> it's, it's a disaster. Uh, Big Mike is up. And I believe he's on screen. Big Mike, tell us about yourself. Tell us who you're playing. Um, I'm Mike. Uh, tonight I'll be playing Crown Infirmidad, who seeks to uh, poison every and cover everyone with acid all around the world. You're my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good! It's an urban adventure with an acid <laughs> thrower. That is. Just... Well, did you not? Did you not recognize what the the name I, was? I, Actually, you know, I was trying to figure that out, and I thought you were going for Ermagod, which is way no. time. So, Infermidad is Spanish for disease. Sick. So, if you translate that back, you translate crown to Spanish and then Infermidad to English. Coronavirus. Ah, oh, very nice. Very, uh, very timely, too. Should have had a bat familiar. <laughs> <laughs> well, it ain't too late because what you guys were going to do isn't happening now. Uh, <laughs> Scott, I don't think we've got you on camera yet. She's working on it, but people can hear you. Okay, so who Yay. are you and who are you playing? Hi, I'm uh, Scott. I'm um, I'm a DM and player. Um, I'm playing Eric Hall Justice Man. Uh, he's probably one of my favorite characters to play. Uh, he is a paladin, a neutral good paladin who tries really, really, really hard to do the right thing all the time. He's handicapped by the fact that he doesn't, he's not that smart and he doesn't really know what, you know, what is going on. He's not that aware of his surroundings all the time. Uh, and of course, when he tries to communicate, he has this little hair that, that makes him talk very funny and people don't take him seriously. It and allows us to go ahead and be ADA compliant, though. It does. It does. But he doesn't understand why people react so negatively and don't understand his paladin, you know, forceful nature whenever he paladin. sounds like he's talking like he sounds like he's talking like he idiot. But so uh, that, that's his thing. Last but not least is Blake. I don't think he's on camera, which is unfortunate for you guys because it looked... It my, looked nose, my nose is about 10 times larger than normal. That's <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, this evening. That's the I think it's the Blair on. Witch Project. <laughs> <laughs> I probably do have a runny nose too, don't I? Oh, There's God. a guy with a knife easy. behind you. <laughs> oh, thank God! It'll finally end this. Like, but no, oh, tonight I'm going to be. Tonight I'm going to be Prudence, <laughs> the knowledge cleric, and. She knows more than you, and th she loves Eric Hall because she just can't com can't understand how someone as brave as he even goes on because of his deformities. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he'll get a head wound and be able to talk normal again. Yeah. Uh, folks, Blake is going to be leaving us in a minute as he switches over, which shouldn't be too long. Uh, Keith. Crown and Aracol, after a disastrous adventure out in the wilderness, you drag your sorry asses into town 
uh, the great city of Cathaway. And it is uh, late afternoon, and you guys are hungry. Uh, as you uh, get rousted by the guards, they look you up and down, and they say, next time, take a cleric, boys, because you're going to need one. Uh, as you enter the, we're going to say East Gate, East Gate of Cathaway, uh, the wind changes and the smell of salt water and vomit strike your noses as you enter one of the poorer sections of town. On your right is the ambassador section, which is pretty much the League of Nations. Uh, to the left is the lower class part of town that is adjacent to the docks. Gentlemen, uh, the city is yours. You are about half strength, uh, but you have for your spells, you still have most of them. I'm not going to put any uh, restrictions on you. We'll go on the honor system. What would you guys like to do first as people are milling about finishing up their daily chores? I don't like toy people. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> it, really, it really makes you wonder if the U the League of Nations or the UN or whatever for capital is in the poor section of town. Well, it's across the street from the poor section. Oh, why it's where they're going to build a baseball going. diamond in 500 years. <laughs> so they can look over their slaves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Keith, Keith is the happy one tonight. <laughs> uh, uh, about your... you guys? Go ahead. I was going to say, I don't know about you guys, but it sounds like, you know, could maybe poison everyone here. Eh, no. Come out of their misery. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make them some bat soup. <laughs> okay, I poison I, people. I, you just I, can't just poison people. We 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 need to we need to save people. We can't just poison people. Who says? Hey, surely you can. It can't be that hard. Well, you, well, technically you can, but it's not nice. I'm googling famous poisoners. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, or. Locusta, a professional poisoner hired by Roman Emperor Nero and his mother Agrippa. Right. <laughs> we'll, we'll go with Lucretia Borgia. Do we do, do we know where like the nearest inn or the nearest place where we can get some food and rest up is is because we're all kind of half strength? As a matter of fact, right through the gates on the left are two competing inns. One is the Gross Arms, so named for its proprietor. Mr. Gross. Are they big arms? <laughs> That's uh, the Bigly Arms is next door. <laughs> yeah, but one of those is just big in German. <laughs> Grande. Vente. I, I don't go to Starbucks. Closa is uh, big for, for... It's close enough. Yes. Close uh... <clears throat> So you've got two choices there. Uh, those are on the left side, which is the poor section of town. On the right side, there are no inns, and you see embassies from uh, nearby nations. Mm. You can see a total of four from here. Uh, there are also alleys and smaller streets abound. Every uh, street that goes through buildings in Cathaway has decorative arches and flowers. It is a very pretty place. Not to me. I, I've never got that impression before. <laughs> well, you can always go uh, look for the underground crab fighting ring. Hey, the underground crab fighting ring is pretty great. That is true. We could cook them though and eat them. That's what well, they do I, to the losers. I should. I, I. I'm. I'm gonna suggest to the party that that maybe I hold my nose and go into the gross arms. Yeah, that's probably somehow the better choice than the bigly arms. I shall follow. Uh, much to your dismay, you discover that the Gross Arms is simply an inn with no food. However, Mr. Gross, as he looks at Eric Hall, justice man like this. Hmm. Hello, tall, dark, and dreamy. Do you want something to eat? <laughs> he says in a seductive tone. <laughs> 
do I have to roll to resist this or something like that? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. It was every bit in game as it was in person. Okay, no, I'll, uh, I'll um, um, gently and yet yet nobly refuse his advances and um, um, just ask him where I, if he could point our, our, our uh, band of heroes to the nearest place to grab food and sustenance. Uh, if you go down, if you go down the main thoroughfare or down along Wall Street, so named because of the fortification wall, and just loop around, Either way, there are several eateries there. Would you guys like to sign in first? No. <laughs> what do I feel like it's going to be signing away my right to not eat sausage tonight? <laughs> <laughs> okay. He seems a tad distressed at your lack of respect for his questionably hygienic place uh but says then be off with you if you aren't going to stay here i'll, I'll throw him a gold piece and say uh thank you very much um noble poor person and <laughs> and then and i'll then we'll walk out give me a d20 let's see if you accidentally stone the guy in the head with your gold coin it's a five <laughs> It rings off his uh, chamber pot, but doesn't go in. <laughs> I was so hoping he'd get a one or two. I was going to dunk that. <laughs> uh, you can go down the main street or down Wall Street and circle around. So it's you're here. You can go this way. It's kind of at the far end of the rectangle. Wall Street, just because I want to see if there's any wealth inequality over there. The Wall yeah. Street is named for the very large defensive wall. But I mean, that's can, not a cheap wall. Yeah. So you can look for wealth and equity and everybody roll initiative. Oh, we'll start off with a dirty 20. That's a 13 for me. 18. 17. Uh, you see a small gang of street toughs flipping a coin and chewing on a toothpick, and one of them looks at four. One, two, three, four. Ericall. Hey, Tin Man. What are you doing down here? I am looking for a place to eat. I am looking for a place to eat. Do not make fun of me or mock my disability. Beat it, pal. This is not your area. And uh, the three of them bar your way and look very menacingly with their squared off shoulders. So they're getting in the way of where we would like to go to, to loop around? That is correct. They are blocking Wall Street. They look like bankers. <laughs> and you are the proletariat. <laughs> go on. Scoot right. off! Scoot off, metal man! <laughs> I like how I you know that I am a knight, and I'm going to be talk to you this way, you stupid commoner. The one pulls out a rather naughty club, bangs it into his hand, and he goes, I'll put you to sleep, Mr. Nighty Knight. Um, hey, Frank, while this is happening, I, I back up like 20 feet. <laughs> I know it's coming. <laughs> um, and I unsling my bow and okay. get the arrow ready just in case. And I'll and I'll I'll pull out my great sword and say, "You have no right to impede a knight on his errand." Crown, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna move. <clears throat> Come with me. I'm gonna yeah, back back by Aaron. <laughs> About like forty five feet away. Yeah, forty five feet sounds good. I'll go that far. Ericall, uh, the three of them kind of parse off. So you have one on each side, one in front of you. And they say, look, pal, you don't have any friends here and you best leave or uh, I'd be melting down that armor of yours for a chamber pot. <clears throat> Can I roll to see generally how, how tough these guys look? I mean, are they street commoners or are they, are they experienced seasoned fighters? Can I try to find out some way of that? I'll do an insight check. Okay. Or you'll do an insight check. 
in sight. <laughs> That's going to be a seven. <laughs> These guys are ready for bear. Ready for bear. Yeah, they're going to kick your ass. They're going to wear you like a pinky ring. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll sheathe my sword, and I'll just say, but discretion is the better part of Vela. And I'll turn around, and I'll, I'll follow my friends out since they... And Z, I know. fire an arrow at the guy. <laughs> uh, I want deck saves from two of them. Okay, uh, Keith, hit him. 26 to hit. Oh, yeah, easily. Uh, 11 and 14. 11 and 14, Crown. Uh, <coughs> DC 14 decks. So, one, so one save, one fail. Yeah. And I hit for seven damage with Got my it. arrow. Uh, the one who failed takes six damage. Uh, that is enough to piss them off. We'll uh, reroll initiative. Uh, Erica, were you backing up or just turning your back on them? Well, I was, I mean, I have my sword drawn, so I'm, so I'm not going to be, you know, just, I'm not going to turn my back. I mean, I'm, I'm backing up, you know, okay. with, with my sword drawn. Uh, initiative rolls. I had a 17 this time, a little bit better. 16. Nine. I had an eight. Uh, arrow call. As you begin to sheathe your sword, an arrow whizzes past your ear and strikes one of the ruffians. Uh, and what spell were you using, Crown? <clears throat> uh, acid splash. Uh, the other one it just covers his face, and you hear a sizzle and uh, a scream. Uh, like we'll Rumble start. Cop. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Foreman. Uh, Eric Hall, you got the 17. You are up first. You can continue to retreat, or you can uh, give a cry and charge ahead. I'll, I'll give a try. I'll, I'll, <laughs> since my companions, I'm not going to abandon my, my, my faithful, faithful companions from behind me, and uh, I'll, I'll charge forward uh, with a battle cry and uh, strike the one that was, that was struck with the arrow. That would be number one. Go ahead. Okay. AC 16 to hit these boys. They're wearing chain. Okay. And I have plus seven to hit. So that's gonna, that's not going to hit. That's uh that's that's an 11. I did not hit. Swing and a miss, Bobby Swing Brady. Miss. <laughs> 16 crown. Now it's about going to here today. And wow, two wow. <laughs> Go ahead, Crown. <laughs> uh, uh, what do I need to hit? 16. 16? Or, yeah, I get a 16 for the hit roll. Fucking love tequila. Uh, give me a second. Is that cool. Don Julio, our unofficial sponsor? Oh, yes. There. Oh, yes. Are, are we done everything we can one day they'll pick it up and just start giving me free bottles uh can i get I can 14, 14 damage on the one who i missed on the acid splash got it uh keith yeah i'm gonna shoot another arrow okay same and target i missed okay over the shoulder it goes. Yep. Uh, he hit with 13. Number one. No, 16 is what you need. Number one is going to be on error call. Number two is going to go after error call. Number three is going to go after error call. <laughs> <laughs> the dice giveth and the dice taketh hey, away. I'm glad Crown and I backed up 45 feet. That seemed That's about true. right. <clears throat> Whew. Uh, yeah. A nine, a uh, 15, and a 19. The 19 will hit. Uh, this is Mr. Club. Dose hit points. <laughs> <laughs> These guys suck. These guys are uh, a street tough gang named the Furies from the Warriors. Mm. Uh, initiative. Jesus, the rolls are getting worse. 20, not natural. 13. 
15 for me there, Frank. Dirty 20s. Start us off there, Crown. I got uh, a four that time. Let's see. Let's see again. Uh, 18 to hit. The one I hit last round. Got it. For seven damage. Drops like a stone as he prepares to whack Ericol one more time. Uh, next up is the 15. Ericol, one of your assailants, has fallen to the ground in a heap. Burning acid again, Crown, or something else? Eldritch Blast. Same as last one. Last one was Eldritch Blast. All right, I will. Uh, I will attack the one. Was, was that the one that was already um, was already had the arrow in him? No, uh, the arrow guy is number one. That was number three. Okay, I will go ahead and attack number one. Better this time. That's a dirty twenty. That works. That'll be ten plus four. That'll be wait ten plus. Five, it'll be 15, uh, 15 of slashing damage. Drops like a stone. Uh, Keith, you're up. Yeah. Is the one that I hit with the arrow first still up? No, that's the one that Eric Hall just knocked down. Right. Then I guess uh, another one that was hit with the acid or something I'll go after. Number two. Got it. Uh, and that was a hit. And eight damage not enough to knock it down uh eric Hall, uh you are going to see another figure appear behind uh this intrusive bad guy and he's going to take a whack at you uh i don't think so 12 nope uh just, just give me a 19 to hit me i'm i'm still in my full play Gotcha. Uh, Prudence, you'll roll initiative this round. Everybody roll. That's better. Um, 10. That's a nat 20 that time. Not, not 24. Damn it. Prudence. Initiative. 12. Nat 20, you're up first. Eric Hall. I will turn to the one that just attacked me. This gotcha. one I didn't see it up until now, correct? Uh, this is one of the originals. Uh, okay. There's another shadowy figure approaching from the rear. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to do the one coming up my rear. Coward. I mean, you could have done that at the, uh, the gross arms. <laughs> 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 That's going to be a 26. Oh, yeah, easily hits. <clears throat> That'll be eight plus five, uh, 13 hit points of damage. Uh, good enough to knock him down as well. Uh, next up is the 24. Keith, the shadowy figure, comes into view, and it is a female cleric. Doesn't Apparently matter, cannot no, sit no. still. <laughs> I'm going to shoot an arrow. <laughs> 13. Uh, Prudence 13 doesn't get you, does it? Okay. Uh, next up is me. I'm dead, so that doesn't help. Uh, 12. Prudence, you are up. Uh, one of these guys, the, you, you've come upon a street fight, and one of these individuals has just shot an arrow at you. Wait, no. I will I go I ahead and. No, I will. I will. I will. Hold yeah, on, man, I, I, I need a wisdom uh, 15 <laughs> roll from him. No, hold on. I, I, no, I need a, I am the shadow, I'm the shadowy figure, Ernie. Oh. <laughs> I, I thought when you described the figure, say. you were talking about the third remaining thug. Now Wait, there's a shadowy right. figure behind him. Oh, no, that's not who I was aiming on. Oh. I need, a, I need a wisdom 15 save anyway, Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> For what? I didn't go by you. <laughs> what okay because <laughs> the because the murder hobo and starting early i i succeed <laughs> okay never mind uh you, you, you're, you're you're unaffected by my command to flee <laughs> uh crown uh this female cleric looking type has uh, just told your compatriot to flee 
uh, but appears to not be attacking you. Mm -hmm. This is uh, you are the final member of this round. What would you like to do? Is there still someone trying to show Eric all a good time like never before? No, that's back at the gross arms. Oh, right. that's me now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'll hold myself up, or I'll hold off for now. Okay, uh, you're holding yourself. Uh, you four have now come together. Prudence, uh, you've come on a street fight. You see three individuals that you know to be the Bowery Boys. Uh, I recognize that name. That's right. Uh, I understand they're probably going to investigate Frank and Joe Hardy's murder after. Oh, I, I was going to say, I, 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 the way I recognize them, I've seen their head on a wanted poster. Uh, no, actually, you have not. These guys are just street toughs. No, they you've are. used that name before. Oh, well, that's true. Uh, what? Because he's unoriginal. That's right. <laughs> I mean, uh, half his characters are like movie references from the 80s and 90s. <laughs> yeah, but that's, but that's original. Uh, you know what? Fuck really you guys. Bad. The Wolverines are coming in now. <laughs> <laughs> the baseball Furies. They're fucking after you. That's all right. right. These were the Furies. Uh, they are not. There are no wanted posters for these losers. Uh, uh, okay. different, they different, are, different, different Cathaway then. Okay. Gotcha. Different Cathaway. This is Cathaway West. You're thinking of Cathaway East. Those Bowery right, We came in the East Door, so this is Cathaway West. <sighs> I know there's a lot of poor people here. I, the DM, the DM's winging this shit. <laughs> Horribly so. Uh, you guys have met before, I'll say. Uh, Keith, Ericall, and Crown, y you met Prudence in the early years, but you uh, felt no need to have a cleric, so you didn't invite her along on your... Uh, little adventures she has found her own adventures and now meets up with you guys notices that you guys look like you've had the shit kicked out of you from being out on the frontier and asks if you need me now hang on hang on, hang on hang on i'll speak i'll speak for prudence thank you uh i noticed that you've gotten your shit kicked in from being out on the frontier <laughs> you need a cleric now Depends. Are you still going to sniff everything in sight? Uh, you're thinking of Bridget, the monk. For those prudence that sniffed yeah, it. Uh, no, it, it, it's, it's literally everyone I play ever. <laughs> <laughs> because he is horribly unoriginal. I mean, you just tried to use command against me. I you don't shot me, that. you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> he attempted um, to, let's call. be honest. You're giving him too much credit. Air call okay. will uh, will I give a short bow to the uh, to the lady uh, who has now appeared, him being a knight and being noble and being uh, all these wonderful things, will uh, apologize for his prior rudeness and um, um, profusely, um, you know, humble himself before this wonderful lady and say, once again, I, I, I am forced to commend your bravery. And 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 I'm just I'm just falling over myself for being so stupid earlier, and uh, um, not understanding that we need a cleric and uh, apologizing, uh, noble lady. Yes, we could most certainly use your uh, your divine countenance to uh, aid in the um, um, perfidities of the perfidlessness of the. Uh, um, I'm trying to think of another nonsense word. She she appreciates your effort. Eric Hall, okay. I'm going to need good, you to make good, an good, investigation. Good try, check, good try short bus. Okay. <laughs> investigation, that's uh, 12. Uh, as, as you're pouring on the crap to Prudence, you notice that there's a small shop over there uh, that appears to be a chapstick shop. Perhaps you should stop in there and <laughs> protect yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think of any... Burt's beeswax shop. Uh, as you guys look around here, you the strong smell of uh, the ocean comes in, uh, but so does the smell of a cooking fire. Prudence can tell you that just around the corner there's a seafood shop, uh, and you also have three dead bodies. Uh, can I get a can I get a a, a smell check? Sure, go ahead. Crown D twelve against me. All right, 12. Yep. 11. 
Uh, you hear booted footsteps coming in behind you. It's a 17. Okay. Uh, it smells like cod. Also, of course Ooh. I hear booted footsteps. It's fucking Cathaway. Yep. There's guards everywhere. We should probably not stick around. <laughs> just, just point that out. Yeah, Why? We've got I nothing think, wrong. I think Crown has a great idea, and I uh, entreat the uh, valiant Lady Prudence to uh, join us for some uh, for some high quality vittles at this cod establishment. No. Well, well, why, why are we? Yeah, if, there's, if, there's, if, there's, if, there's, if there's trouble afoot, I think we should uh, should should uh, endeavor to uh, resolve it. You know what? Hanging well, out with Cathaway dead bodies is always guards. <laughs> Hanging out in Cathaway with dead bodies has always been a great idea. But I, you need to guys do what you want. Well, I mean, Prudence, you may probably say probably dead. wants to hang around the dead bodies and to see. You're, 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 you're right. You're right. It's prudent to uh, uh, exit stage left. Yes. So shall we? Keith, I, do do enjoy, I do enjoy some tuna tacos. Keith, what do you want to do? Um, well, I have been trying to ask, when did this third thug go down? Because they were the ones I shot the arrow at, and then, like, combat ended? Were they already down? Yeah, Eric, I'll put them down. Okay, I've been trying to figure that out for, for ten minutes, guys. Come on. <laughs> so, well, you shot at him, but... It went over Prudence's head. <laughs> I shot at the the dead thug that was on the ground. The dead thug as he was going down, and and apparently missed terribly if it still went over my head. Yeah, because I mean, Eric Hall had a nat twenty, you had a twenty four. Okay, so as Eric Hall gave the death blow, your arrow went zooming right past, right at the shadow that was Prudence. All right. Well, I don't give a fuck. I'll just follow the party. <laughs> So you guys are going in for Taco Tuesdays? That's better than Sausage Mondays. Fair enough. I, I, I do enjoy a good kielbasa Thursday. Wow. It's all about the day, let's be honest. But nobody yeah. wants gross as sausage. <laughs> well, Prudence wasn't I, here I've, for I've, that. I've had, I've had some quite vile sausages upon my time. Uh, you guys wander into the hook and worm. Uh it appears to be very popular with the seamen. I hear the kielbasas are as well. Could be in a no, back room. No, just the jizz. <laughs> uh, I will take investigation checks from all four of you, please. I'm sorry, 22, 17. I was a 12. 12. 18. 18. Uh, Keith, you spot the hooker. Crown, you spot a bard. Ericall, you see a pickpocket. And Prudence, you see a gambler. Uh, I will start with the 22. Keith, uh, the... For some reason, high-end Cortesian looks strangely out of place at this location, and she is discussing something with the uh, tavern owner. What would you like to do? Um, is the tavern owner behind the bar? Yeah, he's a short, fat, homely-looking fucker. Yeah, I want to go up and order a drink. Okay, what would you like? Uh, I'll just have uh, whatever beer you have. Okay. Uh, Sailor Moon is what he's got. Uh, what's your charisma, Keith? Uh, it is a six. Well, you don't have to worry about the high-end hooker. <laughs> uh, crown, 18, bard. Uh, over in the corner, there's a guy warming up his loot. Loot. L loot. If that's all he can play, he's not that great of a bard. I think I'm just going to go order a cheeseburger. Fair enough. You belly up next to Keith. What's your charisma? 19. <laughs> well, hello. Hello, says the high-end Cortesian. Care to buy me a drink as she leans over, giving you an ample view of her cleavage? Do you, do you mean the courtesan? A Cartesian is a type of well. Yeah, Cartesian. Also, 
<laughs> Portathon. Uh, I politely so turned the name of a plane. Portathon. <laughs> I don't know when to prime my artesian well at all. Go ahead, Crown. <laughs> uh, hmm. She has a charisma of 17, by the way. Uh, <laughs> hmm. I'm trying to think of how to handle this. Without a care in the world is my <laughs> secret. <laughs> can, I just, can I just say be gone thought and just order my cheeseburger? Sure. Sure, you can. She uh, she seems unimpressed at your rudeness. Wait, wait, no, I want to tell her. Uh, sorry, I'm more into kibasas myself. All right, <laughs> you're, 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 you're left to the change line. I don't sit for the boys because oh, it's the one. Uh, the producer's having a fun night as well. Uh, I tell her, call me tomorrow night. Or send me a, a letter. To, send me a, send me an oh, owl. Yes. I was <laughs> trying to think of the right pigeon. Send me a messenger pigeon tomorrow night. Oh, my God. Uh, let's see. Uh, Erica, you notice a... Uh, Let's see. Is it male or female? It's a pickpocket. It is a female pickpocket, uh, dressed as a barmaid. So you can't really tell if she's a barmaid getting her tip, or if somebody getting a tip, or somebody stealing money. Hmm. I will um, saunter on over to her, okay. and. Um, tap her on the back and say, I hope that those monies that you just took were legitimately earned. If not, you and I will have some problems. Give me an intimidation check. Okay. Intimidation. That's going to be a 14. Uh, I was receiving my tip by wrestling a tip. Okay, like that to, sounds great. I'd like, <laughs> I'd like to approach Eric Hall and remind him that all money is at one point in time legitimately earned. Okay, uh, okay. So you, are uh, you going to ignore the gambler then? Uh, the, the, the one that I spotted was the pickpocket. Right. Um, and, and gamblers, I, I, I didn't perceive them. So I'm going to go over to the bar and uh, also order me a food. I'm hungry. Okay. Prudence, uh, what are you going to do about the gambler? How, sh how shady on a scale of one to uh, You're back. Trump? Uh, his name is Slim Shady. <laughs> is he, is he, I, I, can I get an authentication check? Sure, go ahead. Uh, I rolled a 22. Is he the real Slim Shady? He's actually somebody called Eight Mile. Oh, 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 the, oh, that, that Marshall Mathers. He's so disrespectful to his mother. <laughs> he is flipping cards from one hand to the other, just causing uh, the sky apart. Can I, is it, is it just uh, ledger demands or is he actually, uh, is it some kind of uh, arcane? Uh... Not magic. It's uh, dexterity. Okay. Uh, I would like to go and, sit down across from it so with it cards there's no dice no dice just cards okay i want yeah i'd like to go sit across from him fair enough uh let's see keith crown uh your meals come uh courtesy of the chef james buffett go ahead and give me a constitution check not save uh for keith your drink and crown your meal please Natural 20. Seven. Uh, the beverage is just okay. Uh, Crown, despite your burger having a tail, it is delicious. It makes me feel like I'm in paradise. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, Prudence uh, Slim Shady, a.k.a. 8 Mile, says, uh, hey there, sweetheart. Uh, Hope you aren't going to use any of your deity skills, but uh, if you're here and you're sitting, 
You're here to play cards, so you need money on the table, or you need to vespers away. Oh, Prudence at fourth level still has like two thousand gold. I don't. So <laughs> she is. She she will go ahead and uh, inquire as to the uh, ante. Uh, well, well, first, first she'll inquire as to what we're playing before she just puts money on the table. Poker, nothing wild. Poker, I hardly knew her. Because here at the Hook and Worm, we poker. I hardly knew her. The one at the I, bar? I, I, I will, uh, okay, I'll, so uh, basically uh, hold them, uh, heads up, hold them. Yeah, we'll roll uh, five D20s, high okay. total takes it. Oh, well, shit, okay. She, uh, she graciously, graciously goes, goes ahead and uh, uh, here's uh, 50 gold. Fair enough. Uh, eight mile will match you. Oh, I think you're gonna lose big. Uh, you said five. Five of them. That's gonna be. Oh, what do I have here? I have seventy-two. I have eighty-one. Okay, she loses. She she offers double or nothing. Uh, let me think on that. Uh, Ericall, uh, yes. the uh, urchin slash barmaid slash potential hooker slash handmaiden, hint, hint, uh, moves off into the crowd. You have stepped up with Keith and Crown. What would you like to order from Mr. Buffett? I would like to order some some cod, some seafood. That's what I smelled, and it sounds good. Tis our specialty, my good man. Go ahead and roll a d20. I got just a straight 15. Breaded cod comes in. Mindful, it burns a little bit. Okay, I eat the fish. Give me a constitution check. On, what am I at? That'll be a 19. You do not burn your tongue, making your speech impediment worse. It is actually very good. Uh, du Damn. Double or nothing. Hungry. That one's a 67. Uh, you might have beaten me on that one. Uh, no, 57. I didn't beat you. Okay, so... so you're even. I, yeah, I've yeah, I broken even. Okay. Not bad against uh, 8 Mile. Keith, Crown. Uh, Keith, you finish your drink. The more you drink it, the better it gets. Crown, the food's delicious. Uh, it's, it's just simply, you know, out of this world. It's a jubilant experience in your mouth. And odds, Keith, even Crown... Even six crown. Uh, somebody bumps into you. Uh, I know what else is a jubilant experience in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, can I react to this and see who it is? Sure. And check my coin purse. Is that what does that fall under? Is that like dexterity or? Uh, you can do investigation or insight, either one. Um, it wasn't hard enough to knock your sandwich out of your hand. Insight, 17. Good. Uh, Keith, give me an insight check as well, please. Okay. 11. Uh, Keith, do you notice that it's a male that bumped into Crown? Crown, you notice that the male uh, seems to be looking around quickly and apologizes while continuing to look around as if he is being... Pursued is your insightfulness goes. Uh, Keith and Crown, what would you like to do about this individual? Uh, by the way, Crown, your coin purse is intact. I shout at him and I say, hey, shouldn't you apologize to my friend? I'm just fascinated with this burger and keep eating. <laughs> I'm very sorry, my lord. Very sorry. Very sorry. Uh, here. Uh, 
take this as, as, as my way of apologizing. And he hands you a small red velvet bag, Keith. Yeah. And I say, I don't fucking want this. And I use firebolt to burn it up. It does not burn up. The velvet bag burns away, revealing a small bird cage. Bird cage. When this happens, the guy blasts into the crowd and you can see heads and people moving around. Hey, asshole, blah, 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 blah. So you are handing the ashes from the red velvet and there's just a tiny little bird cage. And inside there's this itty bitty Nathan Lane. <laughs> Matthew Broderick, asshole. <laughs> oh. No, no, you're thinking you're thinking of the producers. That's right. I'm thinking of Alexi Blues. <laughs> and and you're thinking about the birdcage. Ah. Uh, do, do I have any idea what this birdcage is? Well, it didn't burn up to your magical firebolt. Yeah, so it made me think that. It's probably magical. It. Yeah. It's probably magical. Maybe uh, the knowledge cleric always has identify prepared. Yeah, fuck off, knowledge cleric. Uh, Crown, are you still eating your hamburger? I say, hmm. Maybe try and it looks like a nice bird cage. Maybe try bribing the uh, the prostitute with it. I'm sorry, uh, woman of the evening. Uh, sure, whatever. And I hand the bird cage over to Crown. Ah, oh, shit. Crown, you're done with the burger. Hey, uh, Prince, you know what this is? Toss it over. Uh, there's a lot of people between you guys. Toss uh, it. Do you want to throw it? Yeah, well, I'm right there, and and I'll take it. And I will give it a good paladin like. Give it to you, um, Eric. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Toss it over. <laughs> okay. Eric base roll. Eric Hall reaches for it. Crown gives it a throw. Uh, Eric Hall, just give us a base D20. If it's higher than 17, you'll be able to snatch it. If not, chaos ensues. What am I supposed to roll? Just a straight up D20. Uh, I rolled an 11. You reach, but you don't quite grab it. It goes in over the crowd. Prudence, give me a base 20 roll. I thought I was like right next to him. I thought I was far away. Yeah, you're like, hey, give me that. And he goes, because he throws like a man. I'm looking at a 15. Uh Prudence reaches out like he's catching the bridesmaid's bouquet and an arm jets up and goes down into the crowd. A short statured individual has snatched it up. I need a wisdom 15 save. <laughs> well, there's Pete. The, you, I, it doesn't matter. I need a wisdom 15 save on the short individual. Well, now you can't see them. Is that going to be I a saw their arm. As soon as they intercepted it, I cast it. Nat 20, boys! <laughs> so it begins. What was the spell you attempted to cast? I was going to suggest he relinquish that to me. Oh, yeah. Nope, that's a big fuck you with an at 20. <laughs> uh, people are being shoved out of the way. Keith, you ponder the situation. Crown, you smirk because Eric Hall didn't make the grab, and Everybody can see Prudence get pissed because it has been intercepted. What would you like to do? Do I see the little guy? <laughs> you know what? Everybody uh, roll initiative and we'll go by that. Seven. 21. That's a net 2023. 20, I don't know if it's a six or a nine. Uh, Sixes have the dot, Scott. <laughs> no, look at this die. This yeah, six six should have six should have a dot. It doesn't. Yeah, no, neither one does. Not even like lines. That's some no, bull. Nothing. Get yourself better dice. Reroll. Get yourself some dick dice. No, wait, wait. wait. Next to wait. there's one of them has a little dot right, right in the middle of it. That'd be the that'd be the six. Okay, six. then I rolled a six. Okay. So, first up is the nat 20. Prudence? I am going to basically 
brusquely get up from my table. Okay. Probably disturbing the gold that no one won. And I am going to... The gambler grabs you goes, whoa, 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 one more time. Let's do one more th- one more uh, hand here there, sweetheart. I, sh- I, 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 is he inhibiting my movement at all? Well, he's got a hold of your robe. I, I then, so it's not going to inhibit my movement. I, I, I could essentially tear free or I could. You can tear free if you want. Sure. That's not a problem. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go and track down this small individual. I'm going to charge headlong until I see a midget. Fair enough. Crown, what do you want to do? Same. Going okay. forth. So you guys are going in together. Uh, next we're up, is bas- we're basically gonna we're basically gonna sandwich him. Is, is is my understanding of how we're positioned? Okay, pretty much. But there's about four people in between you and several rows of four people. This place is packed. Uh, Keith, what do you want to do? I'm gonna stay at the bar drinking my beer, but keep an eye out uh, for this uh, little guy. Okay, and Eric call. Um, Eric Hall, being uh, being a noble um, knight and such as that, notices that Keith looks depressed and will walk over to Keith and say, I can't help but notice that you look a little bit down today. You should mind Are you okay? <laughs> that's, that's, that's just the pot. <laughs> Crown, I can't believe you didn't push Eric Hall off the stool when you had the chance. That really disturbs me a great deal so keith uh eric all is trying trying to uh uh, not oprah who is it dr phil he's trying to dr Dr. phil Phil, yeah what do you want to do um yeah i'll uh i'll cast minor illusion on my face to make it look like i have a smile (laughs) i'll make him go away so, so you're the probiotic ad. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, at the start of the new round, Crown and Prudence, you have managed to push your way through towards the middle, and there ain't no midgets here. And everybody you've pushed out of the way is a little on the irritated side that you're just tromping through like a bull in a china shop. And saying, hey, whoa, careful. You're going to make me spill my cod. How do you spill cod? You f- <laughs> Coyote. This guy has four teeth and you have now offended him. And he takes his fat stubby finger and pokes it into your chest and goes, I'll show you how I spill my cod. Constitution 14. There it comes. <laughs> did, I, did, I, did I not wish? Did I, oh, did, are you initiative? No. I oh. You got jobs. <laughs> It's it's a two. <laughs> yeah, Prudence, did you miss your turn? Yeah, I missed my turn. Yeah. Oh no, it, your turn's coming up. <laughs> I just figured I'd fuck with him first. Seven damage. He's uh, dead. <laughs> Was it fire? Poison spray. Very nice. He's dead. Uh, Prudence. Uh, let's see, male or female? Uh, a female. Gives you a shove from behind. Looky here, dearie. You watch where you're going. You I, I, ignore, I, ign- I ignore her as I channel my divinity to scan the room for the thoughts of someone going, aha, I've just collected this. <laughs> hmm. or, no. or, or, or something along those lines. Right. Uh, right no, on. that, that, that really would not be what they're everyone thinking. Everyone was dead. I wish everyone was dead. I wish everyone was dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 well I, okay. Then, then give me, then give me what everyone is thinking. Then, because I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting a surface level from everyone around me. Uh, everybody around you is pissed that you and Crown have come in. Every, every everyone within sixty feet. Oh, around. you're gonna go insane. You know that, right? Yeah. Uh, Prudence is used to it. Everybody around you is Prudence pissed is insane already. <laughs> Why don't you just smell everybody? Everybody in like smells a like a midget. Twenty <laughs> foot area is pissed that you guys are trampling through. Uh, Eeyore over on the bar stool has put on his happy face. Ericall feels uh, vin- uh, feels happy that he made someone's life a little bit better today. 
That's right. Uh, the tall uh, Cortesian or Artesian uh, is wondering how she's going to cure the crabs that she has. The bartender's wondering where he got the crabs. Uh, you have several other people thinking uh, you you have at least crab. you have at least two people thinking, "Oh shit! If they find me, I'm dead." Everybody hears the door open. And a very large individual with a huge chain with a ball on the end of it and an eye patch slams the door open and begins to scan the room. Ah, the flail of Ogma. Where were the two? Pe- where were the two people? Where were the two that were thinking, "If they find me, I'll I'm dead." One was by the door, and the other one was kind of in the middle of people. Oh, this food's good. Oh, this food sucks. Da 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 da. Okay, I, I would like to use my movement to go towards the one by the door. Uh, so I am now, because that's just a that's just a channel divinity. That's fine. Uh, that lady behind you is still uh, is going to be incensed that you're ignoring her. I'm essentially going to bash her hand away with my shield if if, if she if she tries to resist me. That's fair. Let's start with Keith. Keith, what are you doing this round other than being happy and drinking? Yeah, I'm gonna watch this big guy now. This is interesting. Okay. Still give, me an, dead. give me an investigation. All right. Everybody will roll an investigation. <laughs> 16. Got it. By this time, my minor illusion probably wore off, so I don't have a smile anymore. That's okay. Eric calls very happy with himself, so he doesn't care. So very keep an eye so. on the big guy, right? Yeah. Uh, Crown, what are you doing this round? And investigation check, please. 18 investigation. <clears throat> And what are you doing? Uh, does did Prudence say anything to me about where she was going or what she sensed? You can see. No. That oh, oh she yeah, no, no. But I, I'm making a beeline, but I no, I didn't. I didn't inform anyone. I'm going to follow Prudence because that seems the most prudent thing to do. Please shoot me now. <laughs> Erica, investigation. What are you doing? Um, I'm, I, when I see my, uh, my, uh, charge prudence, you know, my, my, the noble lady move towards the door. I'm going to follow does her. have a charisma of 17. So. And your investigation check. My investigation check. I'll be right back. So 15. And last but not least prudence. Uh, you managed to cut through the swath of smelly humanity and you reach the door and I'll take your investigation check. The investigation was a 19, so 23. Okay. You notice that there's blood dripping off this guy's ball. Off his flail. Sure, we'll call or, it or, or, or do I Or do I need to give him the healing touch? Nope, it's a flail. And okay. he does not appear to be injured. Uh, you Are you barring his path into this place? Uh, it depends. We, uh, I, 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 could have, I, I essentially have like a glowing like aura from where I was detecting that thought. Uh, you detect from this guy, I am going to kick. No, 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 no. But, but I'm following the thought that was, if they catch me, I'm dead. Oh, okay. That's to the right of you, the left. Of no, the- that, that's the direction I headed. Okay. Uh, that, that, You're that, going to that, step right in front of this guy. Okay. Uh, yeah. You described him as also being by the door. So that's why I said I went by the yes, door. He's in the door. The aura is over here, and you're over here, so you're gonna you're gonna have yes, to. Yes, yes, I'm going to go behind the door. Effectively, is is I'm is playing some directory. theme music for Keith. Yeah, I'm watching all this because I was watching the big guy, and now Prudence walks by, so I, I'm probably seeing this entire thing. The man puts. Well, his... well, yeah, yeah, my robes have been ripped, so now you can probably see my ass. Yeah, uh, not much to look at. <laughs> Is it Actually, better? Like I said, like I said, seventeen charisma. So and who's better, the courtesan or care. prudence? Uh, world scene. The courtesan, but she's got crab. Well, you don't know that she has crabs. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Courtesan Prud- was seventeen too, wasn't she? No, she's yeah. nineteen, isn't she? Well, shouldn't crab yeah, have the best ass? Yeah. Uh, the the guy with the mace throws out his beefy hand, smacking you in the chest, prudence. It's not enough to harm you or anything. And he goes, "Sister, whoa, for a guy." And he describes uh, the guy that gave uh, Keith 
the bag. Actually, <laughs> you know what? You wouldn't know it because you're yeah, exactly, a exactly. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know who he was talking to, and I he, and I would. I would respond in kind and duck under him and continue on my path. Hey, Prudence, you're going to put up with that sexual harassment. You just grab your chest. <laughs> I don't get nearly enough. I don't get nearly enough action in the Abbey. He uh, takes a look around and then he scans somebody to the left. And <coughs> Excuse me. Um, as you start to move past him, he shoves you and heads for the individual that you did not know handed Keith the bag. How by by how many feet and he's gonna have to make a he's gonna have to make an attack roll if he's gonna try and move me. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh 14 plus fourteen plus six, dirty twenty. Okay, yeah, he's able to shove me. So he shoves you, not to injure you, but he pushes you in between the tables and steps into the row, and he corners this guy who is cowering in fear. Keith, you recognize him. Crown, you recognize him. Eric Hall, you know, uh, you, you might know, because you were... No, smart. he's not nearly smart enough. Okay. Uh, so this huge fucking guy... Uh, goes ahead and he is just pounding the guy right in the chest. I want it and I want it now. It's kind he of can not get the it. right he place. He can get it all night long. It's yes, it's a sex dungeon thing. Oh, so it was a it was a butt plug. Okay. <laughs> it's a magic butt plug. Prudence oh, has the they're called like a they're, they're called the rosaries. The old bird cage butt plug. Yeah. It, it actually has razors for the bars. It's actually a hemorrhoid removal system. Mm -hmm. really now, now, see, I once, I once lost an MP3 player up there, but it was just because of the thumping bass line. Was it a Zune? You didn't lose it. <laughs> uh, so, uh, this pirate-looking fucker has got this guy pinned, and he's just yelling at him. So let's go ahead and do initiative for everybody, please. 23. 20, not natural. 12. Wow. 23. Keith, uh, you recognize that this big fucking pirate guy is just about ready to kill this little weaselly fucker that banged into crown. What would you like to do this round? This seems interesting. I uh, walk up and I, <laughs> I tell the big guy, I'm like, hey, this dude had some uh, birdcage thingy. Is that what you're looking for? Uh, moments later, Crown, you have also reached the area, being able to bypass the shoved prudence. What would you like to do this round? Wait, is the big guy right in front of me, or am I north, near the door? You are closer I to I thought Keith. I was supposed to be running towards the door. You were right behind prudence, correct? Yeah. Yes. When, when prudence got shoved, you made the loop around. So you guys are going to have him like this. You, you will be squared off with him, and he will be mostly focused on the individual. Fine. I mean, I love tequila. wisdom 14. Oh, not even close. Uh, let's do... That was a three. Disadvantage on his next attack roll. Okay. And three damage. Uh, vicious mockery. <laughs> What would you like to say to this guy to viciously mock him? You're Man, the you one I love. <laughs> Man, you really compensate for not having death perception. Cruel. Cruel, but effective. Uh, let's go with the 12. Prudence, uh, you have rearranged your robes. Being and by his viciousness and savagery. <laughs> he, he's got a full head and a half on you. I don't Big guy. care. I turn around and does a 24 hit him. Yes, it does. He is going to suffer 40, 10, 40, 10 necrotic. That's as fine. I am, as I, as I slap him, up, grab him by his scruff of his neck and inflict wounds upon him. Mm. That's going to be, <laughs> that's going to be a 31. You just pissed him off. <laughs> oh, you know what? I didn't roll my initiative. 
Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, and actually, uh, Eric Hall, you are up next. You tied with him. So has he taken an aggressive move towards anyone in our party? Me. Just, uh, no, he shoved he, you out he, of the way. He, he, he doesn't he consider shoved, that aggressive. I he do. Shoved I, I do. He shoved Prudence out of the way to get to the other one. He stopped me dead in my tracks and face palmed me 10 feet away. Yeah, that's 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 unacceptable. I'm I'm not gonna <laughs> draw arms with him, but I'll I'll I'm almost as tall as he is. I'm about six foot six. I'm I'm a big motherfucker with a fucked up lip. And and I'm gonna, you know, say, Mister, you need to explain yourself by touching this wonderful lady. Uh, Prudence, is your hand still on me? It, it would only have been effectively for the duration of this, just to just to uh, as, as a conduit for the spell. So Pray no, to I, Jesus. I, okay. No, no, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have continued to hold on to him. It would have. It would have just been like a. a it would have been a pimp slap with some necrotic damage. Okay. Um. Whew, man. I have a lot of options here. Uh, okay. Let's do it this way. A three. There. And a four. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> he's going to extend his hook arm at Prudence and swing the flail at Crown. So on Prudence, uh, 16 plus 5, 21. And on Crown, whoo, seven plus five, uh, 12. My so, 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 so he does not try to explain himself for trying for, to correct. He's, he's ignoring, he's ignoring correct. your demand. Did you he's, say your AC is 12 crown? I haven't cast major armor yet. Technically. Oh, okay. Uh, so from crown and prudence, I need DC 13 versus hey, motherfucker just ignored me. Hey, motherfucker. Versus what Frank strength. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Pass. Uh, my strength, or I rolled a 14. My strength is minus one, so 13. Okay, so you both pass. Uh, neither of you are knocked over or disarmed. Uh, let's see. The chain for um, crown. crown. Ooh, max damage. Eight plus three, 11. The hook only does 1d4 plus three. Also max damage. Uh, so seven. So 11 and seven, respectively. Uh, everybody roll initiative. Uh, 23 again. For the record for Ericol, Prudence is bleeding from the tit. <laughs> Ericol and Crown. I did 19. Oh, my 16. God. Bleeding 21, from the teat? 20, 21 initiative bleeding from the teat. Oh boy. Uh, I'm tied for last again. You know, they say that's good luck somewhere. Right. 23 is up first. Go ahead. So uh, this got too crazy too fast. So I'm going to walk back over to the bar with my movement. Give me an investigation check. Investigation. All right. Yep. Uh, 21. You see somebody hiding underneath the tape, <coughs> the table. I'll take the 21 up next, please. Wait, so I haven't done my action or anything yet. Oh, I thought you were walking back. That was my movement. That's movement. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, what I was going to do is now that I'm out of that, I'm watching from the bar, I'm going to use, uh, let's see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Well, now, as you're walking towards the bar, you spot somebody underneath the table. Do you okay. go all the way to the bar? Well, he's using his movement until you until he spots someone. Effectively, is what is what right. how, how this is. Yeah, it, it's like seven feet away. So do you just come to a dead stop in the middle? No, I mean I'm gonna finish my way to the bar. I'm gonna like realize that I see someone hiding under the table. All right, you as you look at him from the bar, they're just kind of crouched down, not moving. Okay. Cool. So give me give me one second. Do, sure. do, do. 
so I, I have my uh, cantrip mage hand, and I'm not sure if as an action I can cast it and then a bonus action manipulate it. So I'm trying to figure that out. Okay. In, in, in the in the first round, I believe so. Okay, because what I wanted to do was use my mage hand to grab the dude's eye patch and move it over the other eye. And I would just, uh, I would have to hit him uh, with an attack. You'd like have it. to hit it, yeah. Okay. So that's what I want to try and do. So I'm going to roll, and I'm just going to give myself a dex bonus. Is that all right? Uh, Ma- mage, mage hand attacks with your proficiency bonus. Oh, so that would be intelligence for me as an elder. Yeah. Right? Okay, so let's see. What do I get for intelligence? Oh, I get a plus four. Okay. Uh, that was only a 12. Nope. So I just got a mage hand up in there. So you... Flapping her. <laughs> yeah, I uh, probably tapped him with that. Most likely. 21. While bleeding from the tit, I okay. need him to make a wisdom 15. 16 plus... Oh, no, he passes then. Never mind. Yeah, he doesn't uh, have a negative, so he's good. And I don't have a bonus action. It's not a spell, so I'm done. Crown? Uh, hmm. Give me a second. How close am I to the nearest wall? The nearest bar? <laughs> 10 feet, wall. probably. Can I make him if with walking speed of thirty? Can I make it there in one turn? Oh yeah, you can even make it to the door in one turn. <clears throat> Not even. Uh, I'm gonna cast spider climb and go onto the ceiling. Fair enough. Is that an action? Yeah, I don't have anything else to do this turn. Uh, Eric, call you and me. Who is me? Bad guy. All right, I'm going to cast command. Who, 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 rebu- who, who rebuffed all of your attempts to get him to apologize or explain himself? I'm going to I'm going to cast command, and I'm going to say masturbate. Good old good old error call. Why, Nineteen the and the what eye. am I saving against? Wisdom. Yeah, wisdom. Nineteen. Yeah, you don't have to pull it out. Sorry, I don't have to. Oddly enough, that was also the command that I had given him that he saved again. <laughs> you know, I hear there's a market for that at Gross's Arms. I don't have to, but I don't. Uh, nobody hit me this round, correct? No. Okay. Or correct, but but he is aware of our of our commands. That's fine. And there's I, a I point at Prudence this time, and I say, "Knock it off. This doesn't concern you." New round, initiative. Oh, and I turn towards the weasel. Dirty 20. Same. 16. 15. I'm gonna Dirty 20s. Fucking bottle. Uh, go, go ahead, Mike. Uh, hmm. Should have named this place Roxbury and called it a night at the Roxbury. Is this just like one big long fucking bar fight? Kind of. <laughs> uh, 20, 23 to hit. Oh, yeah, I easily hits him. Mm, Are you jumping down on him or? Can I not just. How much do you seat? weigh? Uh, I don't know offhand. <laughs> Because th- we aren't exactly in uh, Ask This Old House territory. <laughs> you might bring the roof down. <laughs> Uh, where do I check that in D&D Beyond? I forget. I don't know. What's the average weight for a tiefling? Does anyone know? Oh, oh tief- tiefling's about human weight. So uh, it would, it'd it be about 180. They're, tieflings me, are a bit more dense, though. So, yeah, it's like it's like 1.2 to 1. Something give me a like deep, that. Uh, Crown, give me a deep, two, well, less, less than 200. Fair. 10. Uh, net 1. Oh, oh, yeah. You get spider climbed up and kabam. Now roll a D4. A one, you hit a patron. A two, you hit prudence. Okay, you land on the dude. Yep. Bottle of tequila. 
So do, again, do I still have it? Do I still get to cast my Eldritch Blast? Uh, no. <laughs> I would imagine your concentration would have been broken on trying to cast the spell. But I'll give you D10 against the uh, big guy. Just because you're crushing him with your weight. Uh, that's going to be a nine. That's going to hurt. Uh, Prudence, you also had the dirty 20? Yes, and I respond, everything pertains to me, and a 19 hits him. 19 hits him. He takes 34 or more necrotic. Now he's hurting. Uh, 16, Eric call. Okay, I will... <clears throat> I will take my action to just look him dead in the eye and say, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? You say it does not concern us, yet you try to hurt us. What the Act fuck do you want? Actually. That's my fucking question. Well, Keith, you're up. I'm uh, not my fucking question. <laughs> <laughs> Is, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go walk over to this cowering guy now. Okay. And I'm gonna at, kick him in the ribs lightly and ask him what's up. Give me an insight check. Uh, uh not so hot. That was. Yeah, it's I, I I think you mean you're going to say, "Hey, hey, 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 hey. what's going on?" <laughs> Uh, you look under the table and find it to be a child. Do you still want to kick him in the ribs? Yeah. <laughs> Roll the hit, and I'll give you a D6 for damage. Uh, that was a 11 to hit. Oh, yeah. I, it's a fucking kid, so. Cool. And then... Um, <laughs> Do I get any? I, I, I would say that Frank's estimations of a kid's statistics are, are right on. <laughs> it's an AC ten. I mean, it's not like he's going to get a right. dex bonus. I, I, I think I think my children in armor were AC eight. <laughs> Do I get my strength and proficiency bonus for uh, arm strike? Just strength. D D six plus strength. Oh, I'm, I'm proficient on arm strike. Uh, I, I, are you going to kill this kid? Well, I mean, I did kick him. And um, yeah, yeah. If you're proficient in unarmed, then yeah. Okay. Well, then if that's the case, even though I rolled a one on damage, I get my strength plus proficiency. That's so four damage. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Uh, teeth go skittering across the floor. I kicked them in the ribs. But 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 they're but they're baby teeth. So you know the tooth fairy is going to come later later tonight. His head smashed up against the leg. <laughs> yeah, so, I hear the tooth fairy doesn't visit Galloway though. <laughs> So, no, wait, no, it's actually Mama Udu. So, oh, Christ. Now, now we've got a couple of problems because the cops are here. Well, it is and, Catholic. And you, it, it, cops are everywhere. And four people have taken umbrage at Keith kicking this guy or this kid who is a. Wait, they didn't take umbrage to the giant fucking pirate man? No, no, no he, had, the, he had he had a beef that he had to squash. The the, the they get the shit kicked out of him for that. But Keith's uh, what wizard? Why is this kid so, in a bar? Eldridge Knight. You're gonna find out in just a minute. The <laughs> they should be there to get the from the bar. Right there. Every time I go to a bar and they're in a bar, there, one of them ends up fucking fucking with Keith head. just kicked Jimmy Buffett's kid in the ribs and knocked out a few of his teeth. Doesn't matter if it's the owner's kid or not. Kids are not allowed in the bar. So, um, unless you're in Spain, Erica, the guy turns around to you while lashing out at Prudence again and says, This bitch has hit me twice. I told her to mind her own business. Uh, he's going to use the flail on you this time. Uh, 17 plus 5 is 22. Uh, give me a DC 13 versus strength, please. To me. I'm sorry? To me. Yes. Uh, and four oh, plus that's a, that's a 15 minus 114. So you don't get knocked over, you take seven damage. Uh, Eric, call no prudence. Eric, call he's talking to you, he's whacking prudence for you. Eric, call he says, very, This very bitch has hit me twice. Mind your bitch, none of her business. Uh, new round, cops are here, people are angry at Keith. Yeah. Net, net 20 again, motherfuckers. 23. 
I welcome their anger. <laughs> 24. Frank, I rolled an 11 for my initiative. Dirty 20. So we'll go nat 20, 24, dirty 20, 11, and my 5 if I'm still upright. Uh, oh, and guards will get... Yeah, guards will get a 12. <coughs> so... Everybody sees the guards coming in the door. Starting how, with how close are they for me? Because we're still by the door, right? Right. They're right behind this big guy. So they, okay. they can't get in past the big guy, past the fighting yet, right? He he's moved. He's, he moved in. in to get the, yeah. the dipshit. So yes, the, the space is open. So the guards are gonna come in. Bleeding from the tit. All over, just this gushing a, forth this is a from Reno nine one one. Reno nine one one is what this is. So, yes. Prudence, are you going to address Re uh, bleeding, bleeding, bleeding from the tit? I turn <laughs> to the cops nice and I say, friends. "This man has just assaulted me while I was trying to to re to reacquire some stolen goods, and I am going to suggest that they that they detain him." Okay. And I need a wisdom fifteen. Are you using a spell on them? I am, but I, but the words still resonate. But even if even if the spell fails, sixteen. So okay, I'm fine. Uh, the spell fails, but the words still resonate. Sure, twenty four. <laughs> um. So Jeez. this kid didn't answer my question. Uh, you mean the one with missing teeth and fractured ribs? No, not oh, yet. You mean the one bleeding from the tit? <laughs> Well, I have great hair. <laughs> Fuck it. Kids, it's, four people are like, hey, man, stop kicking kids. And you hear Jimmy Buffett coming around the side. That's fine. I'm bored with this anyways. I throw a fireball at the pirate dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hit him. <laughs> yep. And that's a modified 20 to hit. That hits. And what do I do? 1d10 fire damage. Yep. Object hit. Ignites. All right. Oh, you'll hit him. Let's see what's going on. Seven fire damage. Okay. In his face. Uh, dirty 20 crown. Uh, how many guards do I see? Trio of them. Hmm. But you know these fuckers always come in fours. These are the Brady boys. Uh, Weren't hmm. those the thugs we just took down? No. <laughs> those were the those were the other guys. Potato potato. <laughs> no, Brady Brady boys are who we took down in Murder at the Doge. Murder at the Doge. Know, go watch it. Oh shit, I remember that one. Crown, what are you doing? Uh can you use thaumaturgy to make a screaming noise behind the guards? Sure. I do that. Yeah. They, they don't they, 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 they don't do shit. All right. Yeah. Bleeding from the tit. Uh Ericall. Uh oh. <clears throat> yes, Ericall. Yeah. No, oh, the, the, the guard. The guards are first. I'm sorry. Uh, the guards yell out, "Knock it off!" Eric, call you're up. And I will calmly, calmly go up to the guards and simply explain, "Thank you for coming. We appreciate things have gotten out of control. This gentleman barged in the door with a bloody flail." pushing and hurting and kicking people left and right. We're simply trying to recover some stolen merchandise. Thank you for coming here. Can you assist us? Motioning towards the bloody tit. <laughs> the pirate guy does not attack this round. Instead, he grabs a hold of the cowering guy moves him around, looks at the guards and goes, this is who I've been looking for. Initiative. Nat 20. 
16. Six. Guards, 12. Bad guy, uh, 21. Bad guy calmly holds the guy and does this. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry. He doesn't do that because Keith got the natural 20. Keith, you're up first. Um, now that he's standing still, I use my mage hand to move his eye patch over to the wrong eye. Okay. Hit him. And that was a modified 20 to hit. So okay. I snapped the eye patch over so he's blind. 21. He lifts the eye patch up. <laughs> Motioning for the guards. This is who I've been looking for. Is is there a a a a, a flicker of uh, understanding? Uh, under, yeah, or, or like uh, yeah. What, what's no, the no, the guards got a, a, a acknowledgement. The guards have a twelve. We'll have to find out in okay. a second. Sixteen. Prudence or no, not prudence. No, I, I had a six. Eric Hall, I believe. Eric Hall had the sixteen. <laughs> Uh, I'll I'll simply reiterate my my question or, or my my statement. Guards, thank you for coming. We mean no harm. This man burst in and started pushing and kicking and hurting people. I'm a paladin of Heronius, a knight of noble standing and birth. I expect you to provide appropriate responses when I ask questions. Uh, yeah, and you pay their salary. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure at some point my family has some type of shout out to Laura Zima, yes, wherever, wherever you are. He'll tell his dad on you guys. <laughs> uh, the nine, please. Or no, I'm sorry. Uh, just, the, yeah, the guards the, next. The guards. Uh, the guards like. My daddy said, you, you and that guy out. You three over here. And then the peanut gallery starts screaming about the bleeding kid and Jimmy Buffett's pissed. And they're all pointing at Keith. And one of the guards starts to head towards you, Keith. And he says, don't move. We need to talk. Now the nine crown i'm not even sure what the hell to do at this point <laughs> well first get up <laughs> i'm out of the ceiling i guess the funnest looking pinata i've ever seen <laughs> i'm just gonna uh, get on my knees and slunk away towards the bar to order a beer <laughs> now remember the guards told you three to move uh, over here to the right fine was i one of those three which which, which three Frank. Prudence, Eric Hall, and Crown, because okay. Keith is in the middle of the bar and he's drinking. So, Crown, Eric Hall, and Prudence, do you go where he's motioning you to go? Sure. I will tell you on my turn. Okay. It's now your turn. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're six. Okay, so have I seen the child at this point? No, that's a whole different mess. Okay, so so that that wasn't where the aura that I was following was coming from. You guys are oh you know, the, the, the aura that I was following. The one the that first was one or the second one? I was only following one. Right, the one by the door is the guy that Big Mike has. Oh, okay. not, not Crown, Big Mike the pirate. What did you name your pirate of all things, Big Mike? You know what his name's his name's Mickey. We'll go with Mickey. His name his name's Big Michelle. <laughs> He's French. Big yeah. Mickey. Big Mick. He's an Irishman. Big Mick and the guy that you were trying to get to are now outside with one. Call us Mickey. I would like to also, if, but they're, they're they're not ushering me outside. They're ushering me off to the side. They're ushering you to the other side of the doorway. But they've. But he's left. He is just outside behind the lead guard. 
So you've got lead guard, guard over on Keith, another guard at the door, and the fourth guard is looking for this bullshit screaming that he can't seem to find. Because Cathaway guards come in fours. I'm going to once again... Try Kirby's. Once again, point to my bleeding tit and say I have reparations that I have to... I, I, I am owed and dude. Okay, uh, George Costanza. <laughs> I have a, have a valid and, 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 and forge, formal complaint against that gentleman, and I would insist that I might be able to at least know the what the fuck that he is up to and i'm going to move over to the wisdom. side the sister guard is, the guard is going to give me a wisdom 15 say prudence is your middle name karen <laughs> it's linda 17 uh, linda linda. Karen. linda i think it's karen uh yeah so, he, so, he he's <laughs> moved to the side move to the side he, eric, he's, unaffected eric by, he's, he's, he's unaffected by my command to relinquish and i and he's gonna I, warn you for disorderly conduct no, shut no, your no, fucking no, hole no, 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 and get no. over I, to the I, side I accommodate his move I, with my movement i accommodate him but i'm still going to demand that he relinquish it's just unaffected you know there was a guy named officer red who would have already thrown your ass in jail eric call do you go over to the right side i wonder who officer red was you fucking ginger I will I will stand my ground as a paladin of Heronius and say, I am a knight and paladin of Heronius, and you will explain yourself to me, commoner, right now. Throw him in the jail. <laughs> Send him to the He's gallows. Again, point at her bloody tit. Uh, you are speaking with Sergeant Dangle not a commoner, you will get your ass <laughs> over there like you're told, he's, or your erroneous ass he's a is public going to jail servant. Tonight. He's a public servant. He's and a he commoner starts, at best. And he starts ringing a bell. <laughs> Shame. Oh, he's got a bell. Shame. He, just, he just has a bell. He just has a bell around. Who the oh, fuck no, he's got, he's he's a bell around? He's this. got weapons. Okay. Keith, right. uh, your guard says, what the hell happened? Um, uh, was a misunderstanding. I'll uh, I'll uh, have our cleric heal him, and I'll pay you some gold to make up for it. Uh, persuade Jimmy Buffett. Your cleric is also out of healing spells. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a seven because I get negative two to persuasion. I rolled a five. Uh Jimmy Buffett accepts twenty gold. Yeah, I got that. Okay. And a heal. Yeah, uh, and uh, the cleric's out of heals. Eric, all. No, no, actually, I forgot. I, I do still have a first level. I, I still have a healing word. So who are you going to call to, Eric Hall or Prudence? Nah, Prudence owes me one. Yo, Prudence, can you help I owe you get nothing. Out? You shot me. Uh, the, guard, the guard tells Keith, go over to the bar, wait at the bar. Jimmy, tend to your kid. Just keep him away from that guy. He comes back. So you've got a guard behind you guys, a guard in front of you, and a guard in the doorway. There's also another guard outside, and you hear booted feet headed this way. So, top of the order, everybody initiative. 17. Dirty 20. All right, one, one more. Seven. One. You're going to get your ass thumped. 17, you said? Yep. Guards. Oops. Uh, 15. I'm trying to be neutral here in all things, simply stating my rank and position as a paladin. That's all I'm doing. Cops are here. Follow their orders or get the shit kicked in. <laughs> Uh, the cops already here. Of course, if you're blind, and, and and my family will not will not will not support their sheriff in their next to fucking election. D twenty or dirty twenty starts. Okay, so looking at the fucking guard that's trying to usher me away, I'm like looking at like like hey, okay, you see, I'm you hear you hear what they're saying. I'm fucking needing. I'm going to walk over there, and I will give a the kid a cure wounds while frisking him. Because I'm assuming that this is also someone that's this is also a short person. So you're a child molester now. <laughs> I'm, I'm grabbing everything but the crotch, and I say, "This is how my order does it." 
So you point out to the guard interrogating you. You're going over there. He looks at the guard behind you. He's like, yeah, he's going to heal him. They allow you to go over and heal him. Now, persuade Jimmy Buffett that you are not feeling up his child. Yeah, that's what you call a Catholic right there, feeling up that <laughs> I was going to say, I'm like, he, I'm like he, 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 did say, he did say the cleric was going to do it. So he, he knew what he got himself into. Everybody that knows is, that it's a healing touch, not the gropey, that, grabby that's a shit. 23 persuasion. Let's see if I get a nat 20. Ooh, 19. Uh, he doesn't really like the way you're handling this and verbalizes it. Uh, well, well, but I, 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 and, and, and in defense, I will say, I, I, I had to search for any other potential injuries. There's some internal that might not have necessarily been shown. Probably some broken ribs. Yes, I was going to say, I'm like, that, that's, yeah, I'm like, I saw he took a boot to the head. Ribs. Uh, um, 17s, you guys are up next. Uh, the kid took back eight hit points for what it's fucking worth. He was only down four. Right? Yeah. He's top notch right now. So 17s. I got Crown and I have Eric Hall. <sighs> you go first, Scott. Or no, Eric Hall had the one, didn't uh, he? That, that was me. I oh, had okay. the other 17. So, so Eric Hall and Crown are up. You take it away, Ernie. Um, so I'm still at this bar. Uh, cool. How do the kids' balls feel? Turn and cough. Normal. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to order another beer. Yo, bartender. Well, bartender's busy. The waitress will get you another beer. Cool. If not, I was just going to use Midge Hand to grab some. Pour the, pour the tap. Yeah. Crown, you're up. Use your Mage Hand to stop my tit from bleeding. Oh, yeah. No, no. Heal thyself. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to first say, maybe if you ask nicely, Eric Hall can lay on hands on your tit. I think he gets that at a later level. <laughs> I think you get that at, like, level two. Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't care. I still, I, I would refuse it just because I want to be the martyr. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cops love mm-hmm. martyrs. <laughs> uh, Crown. Are the guy that guards hostile at all, or are they fine with me moving out of the way? I mean, they are cops, so they are probably hostile. You're... <laughs> yeah. They can become what do you mean? hostile. Fuck the police! <laughs> <laughs> the Take police. off my shirt and start Fuck whipping the <laughs> Thunderclap, go. Uh, crown. I'm saying these things out loud, by the way. To, like, with the I, I am sure. I am sure that you are. Uh, crown, uh, they just seem to be trying to get to the bottom of everything. I think I'll just. Uh, hmm. Are any of them right in next to me, within five feet? I'm sure one of them's within five feet of you. Uh, probably the one behind you guys. So the one behind you is probably within five feet. He's the one that was dealing with Keith. Mm. <clears throat> I'll just let things play out for this turn for now. Fair enough. Uh, 15, the guards, uh, they, they look at Prudence and they're like, Gah. they look at Eric Hall. Oh, oh, speak, are you going to get over here so that we can get to the bottom of this? Or are you just going to stand there? Did, did my, did my investigation of the child, uh, turn anything up? No, it did not. Just, just, just marble, <laughs> just marble sized balls. Yes, just a little size balls that haven't <laughs> dropped yet. Eric Hall, uh, they ask you if you're going to step over here so that they can get to the bottom of it or just drone on about your family fucking tree. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you asking me that question right now? I am asking you that question. The sergeant is asking you that question. Can, can you step over it. here so we can get to the bottom of this or do you just want to give me the litany of your... Uh, family house oh i will give you the fucking litany of your fucking family house but i'll move over here in the meantime i appreciate that I mean, thank no, you sir if, if you be yes, yes you will tomorrow morning when I fly you your little, 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 little ass no fucking <laughs> uh 
Everybody roll a perception. Nat 20. 23. Seven. Uh, Eric, call on Keith. Do not notice it. Uh, but the individual that was getting roughed up by Mickey the pirate is now in between the two guards in the doorway. And do the guards seem to take notice? Oh, yeah, they know he's there. The actual, right. the lead guard who just thanked <laughs> Eric Hall is tapped on the shoulder. The guard behind him says something. He looks at the guy. He's like, okay. Oh, grabs a hold of the guy, does. shoves him into the bar, and the guy starts to circle around the bar. Or circle around the interior. So apparently, whatever big Mickey uh, had the beef with doesn't have a beef with him anymore. Hmm. So, meaning, he slipped, meaning he's probably slipped big Mickey something. It, it is a potential... Mickey, is you You two, since you had the good insight check or perception check, can assume that whatever Big Mickey was looking for, he now has, or whatever Big Mickey was looking for, this guy doesn't have, which and he, and he you guys it. already know that this guy probably does not have it and somebody else in the bar does. So well, well we don't we don't we don't know who who the guy Big Mickey grabbed was. Correct. <laughs> you just know that he's the one that gave Keith the bag. Uh, oh, let's roll. Oh, well, no, he was also the one. Wait, that I thought it was the kid that he grabbed. No, no, he didn't grab the kid, but but the one who was giving off the if they find me with this, they'll the kill me was the guy that Big Mickey grabbed. Correct. One of two. And the other one was elsewhere in the bar. In Correct. The bar. Yeah. Uh, uh, initiative. Do okay. I see any midgets around? Not yet. How tall, how tall is the fellow that Big Mickey grabbed? Uh, probably five four, five five. Not very big. What, eight. Frank are old in eight. Yes. There you go. Nineteen. Nineteen. Initiative is sixteen. This is my fifth tequila. <laughs> That's fine. I'm halfway, is that through, Don this Julio I'm halfway through this yes, bottle it, of Smirnoff yes, uh, apple, apple liqueur that I bought while I was walking back to join the game. Nice. Uh, let's start with a 19. Oh, hang on. I don't know what the guards got. Oh, guards got a nat 20. Hang on. So the sergeant will now entertain everybody's side of the story. We'll start with a 19. Yeah, dongle. What do you want? You got anything to say about this mess aside from kicking the kid, paying off the dad, getting him healed? Um, I mean that's about it. I was drinking at the bar, and the dude that's over in that doorway now, between those two guards, he bumped into that chiefling warlock right there, and then uh, asked him what he was going to do about it, and he handed over a. Uh, this bird cage looking thingy. I didn't want it. So uh, it was tossed over to uh, that cleric that with the bleeding tit. And uh, it was intercepted by uh, someone in the crowd. Don't know who. And then that big pirate looking dude barged in and all hell broke loose. And I was drinking over here and I thought that kid was doing something suspicious. Obviously wrong. And that was about it. Do you know who Big Mickey is? Uh, nope. Do you know what the birdcage is? Nope. Okay. Uh, next up's the 16. After, after molesting the child, I believe I have business with, uh, 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 anorexic, uh, shady. Uh, are you stepping away from the guards? Cause they're asking you for your side of the story. Yeah, that, that, that's what I'm in, informing them is I, 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 will, I will corroborate Keith's story saying I was, I was expected to be identifying something and I was assuming that this fellow had absconded with it, but clearly he hasn't. And now I have business. I have to go, I have to go and settle a debt and I will attempt to move towards the gambling corner. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tits McGee. Do you know who big well, Mike well, is? Well, g g g 
gush, just just gushing. Uh, do you know who Big? Do you know who Big Mickey is? The knowledge cleric does not know who the fuck this is. Do you know what this birdcage does? I assume it does drag. You may leave. Uh, Fourteen is up next. Brown. What questions from the guards again? Do you know who Big Mickey is? No. Do you know what the birdcage does? You put it in your ass? I don't know. What is your side of the story? Oh, what, what, is, that, what is that medieval torture device? The pear? Yes. <laughs> mm, uh, I believe I was having a very pleasant cheeseburger made by the head chef over there. My friend who's you now drinking his second beer he hands me a birdcage and I'm just like yeah, fuck this tough <laughs> someone snatched it out of the air before the cleric got it and then pirate man over there walked in and started raising hell that's about all I know Eric Hall your side of the story do you know Big Mickey do you know what the birdcage does I have no idea what you're talking about I simply saw a noble lady get hurt and pushed, and I, as a paladin of Heronius, have a noble obligation to stand for women who are being pushed around, and you stopped it. You are the one who are interfering with my noble purpose. So get the fuck out of my way. And that's what I say. Are you done? <laughs> Don't give him an opportunity to talk anymore because he will. Okay. Since the cleric tit lady has healed the kid, Jimmy Buffett is happy. This guy's been cleared. Big Mickey is fine. We're calling tonight a draw. Enjoy yourselves. Sir Knight, if you want to make a complaint, write it down on a piece of paper and throw it in the. Oh, I'm making a fucking complaint. I do not give a I'm shit. making a fucking complaint. And he walks out. Now, this is what happens. You guys are all in the bar. The door shuts. Big Mickey is gone. The guards are gone. The one guy that you guys were honing in on is slinking his way around the bar. What would you like to do? Because something else is about to happen. Let's 24, to, 24 to hit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's roll for initiative first. You can use the 24 as initiative or to hit him. Uh, I'm getting 19 for initiative. Oh, that's good. Good. How successful was I in moving away during my turn? Yeah, they didn't give a shit. After they asked you the questions, they didn't care what you did. So I was able to use my full movement. So I'm essentially moving parallel to this other character. Sure. What's your initiative? Uh, my initiative is a dirty 20. That's like your fifth one. <laughs> uh, hey, Eric hey, Hall hey. There, I mean, 17 motherfuckers. That 20. What? Eric Hall? What, what's the question? Initiative. Oh, it's just full dice. Yeah, what, what happened to cause initiative? This is the how you're going to react. Okay, so I got a real 20, a dirty 20, and a 19. Real 20, go, Keith. I, I need to go bathroom. Okay, the guards have right. gone ahead and left. Okay. The one guy that Big Mickey was dealing with is in the bar going along the far side. Uh, what would you like to do? You are on beer three. Beer three. Hmm. Am I am I getting drunk yet? As a it's beer thirty five inch forest gnome. Give me a Constitution save. Okay. That was a seven. Yep, you're getting hammered. Perfect. Another four. It is dirty twenty. Where in proximity to me is this other person? As I'm as a, or, or have I have I I guess. It, in, uh, have I lost sight or have I seen during all of this the aura that I was following originally that was no. behind the door yeah no you have not seen it so I've never I haven't actually seen that person 
I'm still going to... Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to go back to the table. Slim Shady wanted another round. Okay. I'll oblige him. Crown, 19. Do you hit him with a 24? Why, hit him? Why are you asking me if I hit him with a 24? Uh, are you still wanting to hit him? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you get him. What are you doing? Throwing like a bug at him? or Elders Blast. Oh, yeah. 13 damage. He's down. <laughs> All right, I'm going to grab the fucking birdcage. He doesn't have it. Well, shit. I'm going to go. <laughs> he's, the, he's, the, he's, the one that, he's the one that dropped it off, correct? Correct. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go have a beer. Okay. Uh, Eric Hall is coming back right now. <laughs> Eric going going on? On. Uh, Crown just Eldridge blasted the fuck out of that guy. Prudence has gone over to gamble some more. Keith is on beer number four and is almost blotto. Who is that guy? That guy was the first guy that handed Keith the red velvet it's sack. That with the bird guy. I was being roughed up. I was being roughed up by Mickey. I'll walk over to that guy and, and and ask why the hell he's the cause of all these fucking problems. He's unconscious. He's unconscious. He's unconscious. <laughs> What's your oh. problem, dude? <laughs> oh, oh, well, I, you, you did tell me he was unconscious. Because Crown Eldridge blasted his ass. Nobody gives a shit about <laughs> right. Well, at, at, at that point, then I'll, um, I'll, um, he bag them. <laughs> they pray I, till the morning I, I pay, after, and I go to the bar. I want to pay the courtesan one gold piece to teabag the unconscious man. Uh, the, court, the courtesan does have uh, a coin purse, so the courtesan's going it, 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 to. It's a courtesude. <laughs> it's a court of zood, dude. Uh, so he's going to do that. Now, since Eric Hall and Crown are walking back towards the bar, Keith is drinking and Prudence is talking to uh, the gambler. Keith, Prudence, perception at disadvantage. Crown, Eric Hall, perception at advantage. Ooh, that's a 20-sided die. Yep. Oh, fuck. I've had a lot of tequila. Uh, right. Perception 15. is still 13. 17. 19. I rolled a 19 and a 1. Thank God. Crown, what was yours? 18. Crown and Eric call. A figure appears right in the middle of the bar, right behind James Buffett. It's a short little fucker, too. Just bam, appeared. I piss on it. Well, I mean, if you if you had that much tequila, I imagine you'd have to go. Go go ahead uh, and I've been try like four and, times already. Go ahead and try and hit it, Crown. What are you doing? Net twenty, Elders Blast. Okay, how much damage? <laughs> Mick to rate to Paul. Look at that, max max damage. <laughs> oh wait, wait. Don't I need to reroll for? Do you have to reroll for confirm a crit on spells? No, yes. not in fifty, not in five e. Uh, 14, 14 damage. Oh, yeah. Uh, down it goes. Eric Hall, are you going to piss on him? Yes, I will. It's, it's unconscious corpse. Uh, go ahead. Anything but a one or a two means you actually quasi hit your target. A one or a two means you're going to piss <laughs> down James Buck. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a parrot, there, a parrot appears and lands on your shoulder and begins pecking you. There, there, there was a mighty force behind that urine stream, and you have hosed the back of James Buffett down and his kid. <laughs> That's fine. Fuck that kid. He had small balls. Uh, a shout goes up. Prudence and Keith, uh, give me straight up D20 rolls. Two. I, I, that was kind of said in jest. I, 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 all right, my, uh, it that's is a what 10. it is. The, the two, the beer is great. The 10, there's a disturbance behind you, Prudence. Uh, the beer is horrible. I, I, I still believe that I have business with, uh, with, with, with malnourished uh, uh, um, uh, umbria. Eight mile. Yes, malnourished umbria. 
Yeah. So you're dealing with them. Uh, you want to do the rolls? I was going to say, I'm like, does he, does he recognize me? Oh, yeah. It hadn't been that long. I was going to say, I throw 200 gold down and I roll a 78. <sighs> oh, yeah. I don't even have to count that. You're going to beat me on that one. You get 200 gold. Crown. <laughs> In the hand of the now unconscious Eldridge Blast individual bird is cage. a little birdcage. Ericall, you're going to get socked in the mouth for pissing on the barkeep. <laughs> He's going to swing wildly and miss. Keith, the beer is getting worse. Folks, it's ten o'clock, and this was a goat rope. <laughs> I, was, I was about to—I was about to say—if my turn comes up again, I'm going to look at him as if he wants another one, and then I'm going to turn <laughs> and cast command on the on the being on the ground. <laughs> command on an unconscious man. Yes, an unconscious midget. So Crown has found this magical. Fucking birdcage like, like, like that he could have had like, like, right at the beginning hole. of the scenario. <laughs> Yo, Arcana check six or Arcana check eighteen. What the fuck is the birdcage? It's it looks like a magical prison. I'll ritualistically cast identify if someone wants to hand it to me. Yeah, I'll hand it to Prudence. <laughs> this I'm gonna tell Prudence no matter what it is, open it afterwards though. Open this, that shit. I wish I would have drank as much as Era called it tonight so that I could <laughs> piss on all of you. Let's go with final thoughts. Uh, start with Blake. Thank God I made it back from Payless in time for this shit show. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't get mugged. That's, that was the amazing part. Uh, Scott, final thoughts. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, Don Julio. <laughs> Hashtag is, Don Julio, folks. First of all, no, no, seriously, it's always great to play with you guys. Seriously, it's always great to play with you guys. I just, you know, um, I I was trying to play it as straight as I could, but I was also trying to play the uh, background of my. Uh, yeah, I character. can't. I can't play straight either, so it works. I understand. It, 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 it's yeah, I know. Yeah, well. <laughs> Yeah, so and, so, and, and, um, and once again, Prudence is out of spells to mend that hair lip. You're so brave this, for this, there's on. nothing there, nothing there, but that's that's a good, a good examination of a prolonged bar fight. What really happens when you get that much alcohol in you and just start fucking with shit? So, I, I think we have our answer. <laughs> uh, Big Mike, welcome back. <laughs> You, you tell really us what has it really been that long since I've been on? Yeah, it's been. I mean, I know it's been. It's been a hot few months. Yeah. It, least, okay. Look, I've been busy. I was. Oh, well, that's been, fine. Like, We're just glad you came back so we could fuck with you. I was gonna. I was gonna say. I'm like, I haven't been. That's why I've been here every fucking night. <laughs> so <laughs> no, did you I have fun? Been, yeah, I did. No, it's been a while. I've been busy with the holidays, and then last week I was out of town. It, Keith is the best emo character I've ever oh my seen God. my whole fucking life. Straight up. Best emo I've ever fucking seen. I That's mean, the hashtag Don Julio talking there. Yeah, <laughs> and with the fucking hoodie and the whole fucking I don't care. The bar. I, I, oh, he, my God. He that's needed so the eyeliner, funny. though. The eyeliner would have. See, see yeah, that, that's that's what Horace always wears. Horace just has nothing but guy liner. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I even, I even downloaded a fucking song for you. I swear to God, I, I really did. Is it fucking Bella no, 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 Scott, we'll get copyright strike. Then we can't get monetized. No, 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 no. music on Twitch. It's like when Kyle showed his nips the other day. No, no. Bauhaus, man. Bella Lugosi's dead. Ernest, what do you think? Uh, that was that was kind of fun. I, I am glad that you introduced this random object that is somewhere in the bar um, to instigate this fight. That was, well, the that bats was have left of a bell pyre. All the pictures have been bled. Red velvet lens. Uh, Bella Once you introduce that item, oh, man, it was great. Well, I figured I'd give you guys the shot at having the item and then have further problems ensue, but 
since you decided to throw it and I could intercept it, fuck it. Problems are going to ensue. Right yeah. Now. We all know you love to have short people grab shit, Frank, by the way, yeah. campaign next Saturday, <laughs> this Saturday or next Saturday. <laughs> Yeah, the yes. producer was who yes. was carrying on that conversation with Scott while while while, while he the was producer talking loves over, uh, Ernie. Bell and House, whatever the fuck that thing is. Bell and Bell is House. Bell House. Folks, thank you for Bell joining Lugosi's us on a dead. Saturday night I one shot. If you want to see, just like hit us up for God's sake. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at YouTube. You want to buy cool shit? Uh, tinyurl.com slash RPG swag. For all these guys and everybody here at Murder Hobo Inc., Thank you for joining us. Have a great night. We'll see you on Tuesday for Between the Rolls. Let's get us out of here. Okay. Hookers, hookers always have the best drugs. <laughs>